Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to do another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and thank you for coming back again. Uh, thank you for my new viewers for stopping by the channel. This channel, we talk about top stocks. We also talk about credit and other uh, wealth strategies. So uh, tonight, uh, I'm going to talk about a stock called uh, Domo. Domo is a cloud software company based out of American Fork, Utah, and it specializes in business intelligence and data visualization. So just give you a quick idea. If you've ever seen a, you know, a pie chart or graph chart, um, Domo, what they do is partner with numbers of companies, one including Target, and they basically give you real-time data information of how much uh, products on the shelf for the CEO of Target and many other companies, real-time analytics to tell how well that company is performing uh, by just looking down at their phone, looking at the Domo app, they're able to gauge how well or how not so well the business is performing. Uh, in this new economy, in this digital economy, the uh, data information is very important and, um, so we're going to talk about uh, Domo uh, over the last year, seen a growth of 151% since uh, August of last year this time. Uh, the stock was trading at $38 per share. Um, and I've been with the stock since 2019. Uh, but it kind of stayed sideways for a lot of 2020. Uh, as you can see, it was flat. But then getting into 2021, at the very end of 2020, it popped up and it's been on a cruise ever since. Now, Domo has had um, numbers of companies, uh, partnerships, and one of them is Target, I always talk about. Um, but another one, uh, I'm on a website called Apps That Run the World, and it says list of Domo customers. Um, Domo for his analytics and business intelligence, United Group, group Health group incorporated so this is a large uh, hospital insurance group uh, which supports over uh, 330,000 employees with revenues of 255 billion dollars uh, and Comcast so again uh, this is a huge deal who they partner with United Health Comcast and also Target and many more organization United States based professional services. I mean, this is huge. So uh, as these contracts tend to mature, you know, maybe the first few years there were five-year contracts, now there might be 10-year contracts. Uh, the company's appreciation and value matters. So this is apps run the world and customer database on Domo's list of customers. So, and this shows how, you know, the list of customers breaks down in terms of uh, sectors they affect, hospitality, uh, professional services, uh, nonprofit, manufacturing, healthcare. We mentioned United Health, uh, banking and financial services. So spread across a number of different um, sectors. Breakdown of customers by number of employees. So most of their uh, customers have over, you know, 100 to 100,000 uh, employees. Um, and then break down customers by revenue. So uh, their customers tend to have revenues of, you know, $10 million or more. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just huge. So a lot of good things about Domo, reason to invest in it. Um, like I said, I've been invested to come since 2019. Uh, but 2020... Uh, late 2020, that's when the stock took off. Also, you have to look at um, the founder, Josh James. Um, he's a seasoned veteran. I mean, he's not that old, but um, basically he's, uh, you know, done this before. Um, again, he's associated with a lot of the other people, Richard Branson, Jeff Bezos. Uh, Jeff Bezos is a big investor in Domo as well. Uh, Mitt Romney, uh, it's kind of the BYU crew. 
So again, I, I went on to look, Domo founder, Josh James, CEO of Omniture. So he was the founder of Omniture. Uh, and the inception to IPO of $1.8 billion and it sell to Adobe. So it, this is not his first company. He sold his first company to Adobe for 1.8 billion. And again, he, he's doing it again with uh, Domo, which is, you know, data analytics. And he's pretty much, you know, he may sell it to somebody again, but at least at this company, you know, he is the CEO um, and uh, he's a BYU grad. So um, other things you can look at is, um, what's going on in the news with Domo, uh, why the stock this particular week is down. So if you look at the last few days, the stock is down, which may be a good time to buy it. Like I said, this, this company is not slowing down. Um, before I talk about the stock, let's talk about Domo's customers. So again, we talked about Target. Um, and here's more of their customers, Emerson, IDG, uh, Unilever, uh, the NBA, uh, Harcourt, uh, DHL, Shipping, Harmon's Neighbors, L'Oreal, JMF, uh, Compass Agribusiness, CAE, uh, dealing with an airline, looks like, uh, National Tiles, Trove, and, and the list goes on, uh, who they deal with and work with, Lazy Boy, um, Adopting Domo and Lazy Boy infrastructure put informative material in the hands of the entire company. So these are some of the uh, positive uh, quotes by customers. And here's the one, ESPN. So again, uh, I like this one it says, Domo has given us the confidence in using a post on customer issues. And again, this is real time. This is not like when the ESPN execs are connected to the app or their business intelligent manager. They can see real time customer issues, not like last night, not last week. It's real time. So they get alerts and um, graphs tells what's going on. Uh, challenge quickly aggregate customer comments to spot emerging issues with pay per view broadcast, identify services as affected before issues cause subscriber churn. ESPN uses Domo to tap into viewer sentiment so it can maintain its reputation as the worldwide leaders. ESPN's entire customer care team now has access to real-time information. And again, this is the same type of deal with Target. Real-time information. What product is on the shelf? How is my customer doing? Are we ready? And if you look at um, the Target stock, Again, they are, they have been on fire. Um, and, you know, even though they're a retail company, uh, I used to actually order my stuff online with Target and go in the store, pick it up like four years ago. Um, but they've gotten it even better. So again, um, a big customer, uh, Target, uh, they work with Domo as well. And they, they're seeing the benefit of getting that real-time data intelligence uh, business and data real time, allowing the company to know where there's issues at, you know, uh, it's really important. So this is the cloud software you want to be part of. Um, there's some other app integrations, Domo with Snowflake. Uh, these are some other companies that have APIs. Domo transforms these others. Uh, with Washington Post, eBay, DHL, New York Times, Telus. Um, and this is how many per second, less than one second. Um, one, 100 trillion plus rows queried daily. Um, and these are pre-built APIs. So all these customers can connect to Doma's data sources real time, very quickly, activated within minutes. So these are the benefits, data right back, internet of things, partitions and user support. Uh, real-time data support data uh, getting up and running in minutes. So that means it's plug and play. So as soon as they get the API and they get the token from the partner or they give the, uh, the, the partner gets the token from uh, Domo, they're up and running. Uh, a fully managed API 
ecosystem lets Domo manage and maintain API connections to most important cloud data sources your teams don't have. Uh, so again, some of these are other partners, SAP, Snowflake, Google Analytics, Amazon Redshift, HeyDoop, Oracle, Salesforce, all the big names that you come to learn, come and know, learn, they have pre-built connectors. So if there's some data in that particular um, company source, they can just grab it and then they can display it in the uh, dashboard. And that's like, you know, real-time information. Um, and so it's just so cool that uh, Domo is around and able to provide this real-time information, um, dynamic data at your fingertips. And here's the different types, C, C, CSV, common, uh, you know, all these formats, this is common, CSV, uh, Excel sheet, JSON and XML, um, upload files, uh, instantly. So again, just the best data sourcing. Um, and like I said, some of the, the number one customers, the NBA, uh, ESPN. And now on to the news, just to talk about some news in Domo. Um, Domo uh, Incorporated Board sued over founder stocks grants worth 19, let's see. Domo Corporate sued over founder stock grants worth $19 million. So just a little quick blurb, a Domo investor sued his founder in Delaware claiming he used to own 80% voting and control over the power of the business intelligence company board pushed to, through excessive unjustified equity awards himself worth $19 million well more than the comparable business pay of their chief executives. Wow, this sounds juicy. Uh, in addition, a CEO, Chairman Josh James, the uh, derivative lawsuit made public Friday targets the rest of Domo's board, uh, including members of the company's compensation committee. Oh, this could get ugly. Uh, but uh, so, you know, we're seeing some, uh, you know, bad news, which overall the company is doing well. There's just some disagreement and looks like who, who owns what and what they're supposed to get. Um, seeking alphas is Domo remaining on track and winning large corporate business. As I said, this is not Josh James's first time uh, selling a company or partnership with a major uh, company and you know, managing itself. Since Domo remains on track, cash flow and positive begins to win related to company restricted uh, stock unit program. Uh, Domo gains 3.14% on moderate volume in August. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, Josh James. He's he he knows what he's doing. He's a seasoned veteran. Um, so they got the lawsuit going on right now. And the only thing I didn't like. Um, looking at the uh, price target forecast was that it only has a high of $106 per share right now. Um, I'd like it to be $150. Uh, but anyway, 12 analysts or four analysts offering 12 month price forecast say Domo has a price meaning of $96. I definitely believe that's under uh, with the highest amount, $106. Uh, the median estimate represents 7.74% increase over the last price of $89.57. Uh, and then here's their sales forecast, um, $60 million uh, earnings per share. They're actually negative, which is okay for a tech company, a, a company in the growth phase. So that's fine. Um, but, you know, um, they're growing. I mean, they have the customer base. They just have to improve the uh, contracts. So whether they're, you know, I don't know what the contracts are, but uh, if I wanted to, I could go more deep into it. Um, so yeah, you can see a lot of the forecast uh, analysts, you know, what the expectations is, uh, you know, from uh, 60 million to 61 million consensus in October, 2021. Um, and then if they, they exceed that, who knows? Um, they sure have the type of caliber of customers that could deliver those numbers or better. Um, so that's 
just basically what I want to talk about, you know, their major partnership with Target uh, and Target's been doing real well and they're able to keep up with customer demand as far as product on shelf. And then a quick video, a uh, quick stop that I wanted to add in addition to talk about was Datadog. Um, Datadog is a monitoring service for cloud scale applications, providing monitoring service to database tools. Um, and like I said, uh, this is another cloud type software. Um, and they've been making moves as well in the last year, uh, back in June or May, the stock was trading at $88 and now it's up 30%. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, up 30% in one month, actually a little more than a month, but that's just huge. So in June 21st, it was $102 and now it's 135 in August. That is a huge move. I was thinking about buying it, but I did not buy. And uh, I hate that I missed it. Uh, but I still believe Datadog has upside to it. Again, let's go on the news. Uh, why Datadog jumped uh, on Thursday. Stock rose much as 70%. Um, Datadog stock top estimates. The shares are soaring. Okay, so this was a week ago. So, again, this is an honorable mention. This is another cloud software company. Remember, as we stay in the digital economy, cloud data is very valuable, whether it's uh, Facebook or Google or, you know, data service being monitored. In this case, this is Datadog, which keeps up with that. Um, who knows? These guys could be partner with uh, Facebook or Google because uh, they monitor the service. You know, so, and they do it based on a cloud. So um, this is Datadog. It's another stock uh, that is pretty much you know, uh, on the increase this year, uh, pretty much it was back in February, $106 per share. It dipped and then it returned back upward. So um, I'm also invested in Twilio and Okta. And from past experience, they all have doubled and tripled. And like, I'll just give you a quick example, Okta. If we look at Okta, I've been involved with Okta since 2019. And since 2019, uh, the stock was $106 and now it's doubled to $235. So pretty much my background is in you know, software engineer and uh, I value cloud software because it does everything in the cloud and it makes sure it's all secure and make sure it gets to who, whoever needs the information in real time. Uh, in this case, this is more to deal with the authentication and authorization, security of you know, employees for companies and allows, you know, control applications, turn on and off access to applications based on the users. Um, of course, I still own Okta, um, but this was, you know, this is my idea on stocks. Get them around the $100 mark and then watch them double or triple. And it's faster for them to happen with these uh, cloud stocks. It doesn't, just doesn't happen with your regular traditional uh, Disney and, you know, Nike and stuff that like that uh, tech stocks grow like 20, 30 percent a year. And in some instances, they grow 50 percent a year. Let's just look at uh, this one. And for example, uh, Okta is kind of losing steam, but 18 percent so far this year. Uh, in the previous year, they grew, you know, like 50 percent. So if you look. Um, over the last five years, they're up 903%. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for companies that can 10X. You're not looking for companies that um, they go up 20% and then they crash. Um, tech companies, once they get around that $90 mark uh, and they get that institutional backing, they, cut, they tend to skyrocket. So anyway, the feature of this video tonight with Domo um, Domo is, again, a business analytics tool. Uh, and, you know, they, they have real-time data for companies like Target and ESPN uh, and many other partners as we talked about, um, the NBA. Um, and, you know, they, they're like, you know, biggest customer, United Health Group Incorporated, 
This is like a, a big hospital or insurance group, uh, $255 billion, also second that with Comcast. So uh, anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and leave your comments below. And we'll see you on the next video.